Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds and her minions, against the wishes and pleas of Iowans, decided to gut the agencies that help schools with special education for students with disabilities. And while they were passing this incredibly unpopular legislation, they lied to our faces, saying the bill would not affect services. But AEAs, area education agencies across the state, are already beginning to cut budgets and staff because of it. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that less funding equals less staff, which leads to less quality specialized care. This will negatively affect all Iowan communities, but especially rural communities. At Green Hills AEA, which covers the area around Council Bluffs in Western Iowa, they lost 49 members of their team from the we are totally not going to dismantle the AEA's legislation. 49 out of the 320 positions is 15% of their team gone. This is a reduction in force, meaning these positions will not exist anymore. These resources are gone. At Heartland AEA in Indianola and Knoxville, 70 out of 740 people, nearly 10% of their staff are leaving. Some resigned, some are opting to retire early due to the uncertainty. Others can see the blatant decline in support for public education in Iowa and are relocating to states where they believe public education receives greater priority. Iowa Republicans know that they look like jerks for this move, so in order to feel better about themselves and to get the courage to face voters in November, they added a teacher pay increase into the AEA funding cut bill and then claimed Democrats were anti-teacher when they voted against the bill to protect AEAs. I think I speak for all Iowans when I say stop playing politics with people's livelihoods, listen to your constituents, and we will remember that that you did this in November. Be sure to give the Iowa Starting Line a follow or visit iowastartingline.com for more on this.